Questions 1 through 10 on the 2018 Grade 8 AMC 8. An amusement park has a collection of scale models with the ratio 1 to 20 of buildings and other sites from around the country. The height of the United States Capitol is 289 feet. What is the height in feet of its replica at this park rounded to the nearest whole number? 1 over 20 is the ratio and that's going to be x over 289 where x is the height of the replica. Cross multiply and you get 20x is equal to 289 and then x is therefore equal to 289 over 20 and the exact decimal value of this is 14.45 and therefore rounded to the nearest whole number it would be 14 and therefore number one the answer is a what is the value of this product well this is 2 this is 3 over 2 this is 4 over 3 5 over 4, 6 over 5, and 7 over 6. And these are, of course, all products, right? You're multiplying. And one thing you will notice, I hope, is you can start crossing things out. That cancels with that. That 3 cancels with that. 4 cancels 4. 5 cancels 5. And 6 cancels 6. The only thing left is that 7. And that's the answer. Number 2, the answer is D. Students Arn, Bob, Sid, Dan, Eve, and Fawn are arranged in that order in a circle. They start counting Anne first, then Bob, and so forth. When the number contains a 7 as a digit, such as 47, or is a multiple of 7, that person leaves the circle and the counting continues. Who is the last one present in the circle? Well, let's draw a circle. And then let's draw in our friends A, B, C, D, E, and F, right? Okay, so let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so this person leaves. Keep counting. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This person leaves. 7 was a multiple of 7. 14 is a multiple of 7. 15, 16, 17. That also leaves. Why? Because 17 has a 7 in it. 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 is a multiple of 7. B leaves. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 has a 7 in it. So E leaves. The only person left is D. So number 3, the answer is D. The 12 sided figure shown has been drawn on a 1 by 1 graph paper. What is the area of the figure in centimeters cubed? Well, if we just take that square in the middle first, that's obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we've got a bunch of triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And each of those eight triangles has an area of a half, since it's just a square chopped in half. So this is the total area. So it would be 9 plus 4, and that is 13. And therefore, number 4, the answer is C. What is the value of this big, long expression? Well, there's a couple ways of doing this. Either way is fine by me. Um, we can add, so group it, this first 1 with this negative 2, and then the 3 with the negative 4, and then the 5 with the negative 6, and so on, right? So we've got 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6, and so on. And then eventually, you're going to get to 2017 minus 2018. But this question is a little tricky because you'll notice you still got this loan 2019 so you got to stick that at the very end and if you did this question really quickly you might have missed that okay so now each of these is negative one I think that's very helpful all the way of dot 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 a whole bunch of negative ones and then a 2019 at the end now we have to figure out how many of these negative ones do we have well 
it went from one three five all the way to 2017 so it was basically every odd number and to figure out how many of those there are you just take 2017 add one and then divide by two so that's going to be a thousand and nine so there's a thousand and nine of these negative ones so a thousand and nine times negative one plus two thousand and nineteen and that is ten ten so number five the answer is e on a beach to on a trip to the beach and traveled 50 miles on the highway 10 miles on the coastal access road he drove uh, three times as fast on the highway as on the coastal road if on spent 30 minutes driving on the coastal road how many minutes did his entire trip take so we've got highway and we've got coastal road so we've got the distance and we have the speed so the distance on the highway is 50 on the coastal road is 10 on the highway it's three times as fast so i'll just call it 3x and the coastal road i'll just call x and speed is equal to distance over time that's the standard formula time is equal to distance over speed and they want to know the total amount of time so okay so time will be distance over speed for the highway and then we got to add distance over speed for the coastal road for the highway uh, that's going to be 50 over 3x and for the coastal road it will be 10 over x now we don't know x yet but they gave us a little clue that it's 30 minutes on the coastal road the time so basically what that means is that we can use this formula here so the speed is on the coastal road 10 over x but x uh, or sorry 10 over t and t is 30 minutes which is a half an hour so that means the speed is 20. so we had the designated x as the speed so this is 20 and this is 60. So going back to this formula, we got 50 over 60 plus 10 over 20, and that is 50 plus 30 over 60, and that is 80 over 60, or 4 over 3 hours, and in minutes that would be 80 minutes, since the answers are all in minutes. And therefore, number 6, the answer is C. The five-digit number 2018U is divisible by 9. What is the remainder when this number is divided by 8? Well, you have to figure out 2018 something that's divisible by 9. And that something um, is 20187. When it is divisible by 9, it gives exactly 2243 as a result so then we have to do a 20187 divided by 8 and figure out what that is well that is 2523 with a remainder of 3 so number 7 the answer is B Mr. Garcia asked the members of his health class how many days last week they exercised for at, at least 30 minutes. The results are summarized in the following bar graph, where the heights of the bars represent the number of students. What was the mean number of days of exercise last week rounded to the nearest hundredth reported by the students in Mr. Garcia's class? All right, so based on the graph, we have to multiply the number of students that exercised by a uh, number of days. So it'll be 1 times 1, 3 times 2, 2 times 3, plus 6 times 4, plus 8 times 5, plus 3 times 6, plus 2 times 7. And then, of course, we have to divide by the total number of students, which is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 2, plus 6, plus 8, plus 3, plus 2. 
So that is 1 plus 6 plus 6 plus 24 plus 40 plus 18 plus 14, all divided by 25. And when you do that, you get 109 over 25. And that is 4.36. So number 8, the answer is C. Tyler is tiling the floor of his 12 by 16 foot living room, he plans to place one foot by one foot square tiles to form a border along the edges of the room and to fill in the rest of the floor with two foot by two foot square tiles. How many tiles will he use? All right, so this is a, let's say his approximate uh, room. And then one by one tiles are gonna be used to um, fill the edges. So basically something like this right along the edges, just draw a rough sketch like this. And these first, let's figure out how many of those tiles are going to be needed. Well, this is a 16 by 12. So this will be chopped up into 16 uh, one by one tiles. And similarly, that bottom row also. However, this now, this is no longer 12. This is 10 because we have one here and one here, right? So that's a 10 by one. So you're gonna have 10 here and 10 tiles here. So you have 16, 16, 10, and 10. That's 32 plus 20, 52 tiles. 52 tiles for the edges. And then now, on the middle, you've got a 14 by 10 uh, area. So 14 by 10, that's 140. And then those, uh, that area is going to be filled by 2x2 two two tiles. And a 2x2 two two tile has an area of 4. So 140 divided by 4 is the number of 2x2 two two tiles for the middle area, and that is 35. So 52 tiles for the edges and 35 tiles for the middle. So 52 plus 35 is the total, which is 87. So number 9, the answer is B. The harmonic mean of a set of non-zero numbers is the reciprocal of the average of the reciprocals of the numbers. What is the harmonic mean of 1, 2, 4? Okay, so first we take the average of the reciprocals. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Take the average, you got to divide it by 3. Get a common denominator, 4 plus 2 plus 1 over 4 over 3. And this looks like 7 over 4 times 1 over 3 and that is 7 over 12. And at the very end, we have to take the reciprocal of this result, which is 12 over 7. So number 10, the answer is C.